and then the first of 355 points, which will be bitterly fought for, tooth, nail, and racket, before this marathon epic is concluded. But the game goes to labor, a service break. Couldn't be a word. In slow motion, the ballet-like beauty and grace of the sport is fully revealed. indication that he can crush his Aussie countrymen as easily as in their other two meetings this year. But it isn't that easy. Ken Serve gets in the groove to make it 4-1. In the next game, it's his advantage. Right now, he can break labor back. It doesn't work out that way, a 5-1 edge. Ken is coming back strong and has his second service break opportunity. A magnificent lob, but Rod, always the aggressor, takes the offensive on what would be a defensive shot for most of us mortals. Turns back Ken. The golden incentive. This gleaming symbol, spurring them on to that last extra effort that is the... Ken wins five straight games. And here in the sixth, as his fourth opportunity to break Rod serve and whitewash him in the set. He does it. And... backhand get. But Rosewald coolly lays it in the other corner. Incredibly, Labor reaches the ball. Leads 5-3 now. 40 love, and Labor fights to stay in it. That seemed to come back a little bit better then. Uh, but sometimes it's better to serve badly against Ken than just to play what serve well against him. Serve a fast, serve at the labor break. It's 5-4, his favorite. Rosewall leading 15 love. He moves in for the volley, only to be driven back by a great lob. But his equally great return pins labor to the service line. Ken moves in again to make a crisp volley to keep labor back. But then Rod takes the offensive, pulls Ken over and back with a down-the-line corker. A terrific lob and a magnificent get from Rod, but he's too far out of position. Chess, played with rackets and split cell. Rosewall fights to even it up at six games all and a chance to win it in the tiebreaker. Now it's 40-15. Ken wins the tiebreaker, it's all over. Seven points is all it takes with at least a two-point margin. The Rosewall touch. Two-one. Three-two labor. Five-two now goes down to the wire. Point will give him the set. Labor wins it. 
this incredible match goes well over the fantastic finish. Can Rosewall's 37-year-old legs carry him through? It just doesn't seem possible. Brings it back to Deuce. He must take this game. Not to be denied. On the 17th point of this seesaw struggle, he gets the advantage. And now, Rosewall leads 3-1. game and it's even at 4-4. Let's look at that incredible shot again. Labor hits a winner going away. Not too many players in the world can duplicate. I was hoping Rod would serve. And in the crucial 12th game, Rob is still under the gun. He must hold serve. 30-15. Roswell takes the next point, and it's Labor's advantage. Now almost everyone in the vast crowd is rooting for him. It seems not only fitting, but absolutely essential that this match go down to a fifth set tiebreaker to cap its ever-mounting drama with a climax of almost unbearable suspense. the most. Two points difference between these two tennis immortals after playing for three hours and 45 minutes.